Was Judas always evil? Or did he become evil little by little? Salve Maria! Today is the last day of Lent. Tomorrow, the Church begins the shortest liturgical season of the year, called the Easter Tridium, which consists of three days. And so today, we are invited to better contemplate what more we must do in order to better turn away from sin and be faithful to the Gospel. Today's Gospel is presented to us by St. Matthew, chapter 26, verses 14 to 25. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. This is the story of Judas, the traitor. And we, when we think of Judas, we always tend to think of him as being very different and a lot worse than all of the other apostles. But if that would have been so, um, the apostles would have immediately, well, suspected him when our Lord, later on in the gospel, said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The apostles immediately would have said, it's Judas. He's always been bad. He's so much worse than all of us. So he's the one who's capable of betraying our Lord. But Judas did not stand out as any worse than anybody else there amongst the apostles. Otherwise, the apostles would have immediately suspected him when our Lord said that one of you will betray me. So Judas became evil little by little without anybody perceiving it. He must, um, well, in the beginning, of course, he had everything he needed to be a great apostle. When our Lord chose him, he was good. He wasn't evil. God does not destine anybody to failure. It's Judas himself who, little by little, wanted to cut himself away from our Lord. It must have all started when Judas stopped working on his friendship with our Lord. Judas stopped working on his devotion, on his admiration for our Lord. And he started, therefore, to doubt. The American Archbishop Fulton Sheen used to say that Judas's betrayal began when Judas rejected Jesus in the Eucharist. Remember how the fall of Judas occurred um, the night that our Lord offered the Eucharist, the night of the Last Supper. This is a reminder that we can also become evil little by little, if we're not careful, if we start giving in on our principles in small matters, because eventually we will start also giving in in principles in bigger and more serious matters. Let's always remember a Christian, and especially a Catholic, is always called to continue walking forward and growing in one's love, in one's veneration for our Lord and for His teachings. So let's ask our Blessed Mother today to give us that holy zeal, that desire, that radicality of love that will always make us faithful in everything our Lord teaches and our Lord represents. So may Almighty God bless you today in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Salve Maria.